Greetings, knitters. Uh, Mountain Mom here. I'm going to demonstrate today Emily Auker's circular beginning. I learned this from reading Elizabeth Zimmerman's works. This is one way to start a shawl that starts at the center and works out, or a hat or a cap that starts at the top, where you want to begin with a small circle and then get bigger. This technique involves using a crochet hook that is going to match the yarn you're using. Get the tail, and for this the tail is going to go on the left side. Loop your yarn around, and we're going to be working basically single crochet stitches out down the tail. Make sure to leave enough tail for tucking in later. We're going to use the working yarn here. Okay, reach through, pull up a loop, try and get a little tension here. Loop, wrap around and pull a loop through. So there's a single crochet done into the loop. Now we've got two strands going here. One's the tail, one's part of the loop. I'm going to loop, reach under them to pull a loop from the back to the front. Loop and pull a loop through that one, but not through this one. Keep these loops on the hook. Reach through, pull a loop to the front, pull a loop through that one loop. So we've now got three stitches on the crochet hook. I want to go for six. So let's see. Four. Reach through, pull a loop from the back to the front. Reach over from the back and pull it through. Five. Under, pull it to the front and then over, pull it through. Okay, I've got six stitches. Big center loop here, but you'll notice that if I pull the tail, that loop gets smaller. So I'll make it a reasonable size to work with here. Okay, now I've got stitches, and I want to get them onto double pointed needles. I'm going to slide them down to the tail end of the crochet hook so I don't have to deal with yarn hooking onto the hook and I'll just slip them onto double pointed needles. Just two. Two on this one. Oops. But there are my loops still sitting there. I'll just catch them. And two on this last double point. Okay, now we're done with the crochet hook. I've got six stitches on these three needles. I'm going to pull the loose end some more and watch that hole disappear. Pretty much. So now I've got a little uh, this is the top center. I'll work around. Some instructions will have you increasing right away. Some will have you work an even round first. I'm going to work around with increases. I'll just do some yarn overs and then show you what this looks like once we have a few rounds of knitting on it. Okay, so here I've done a few rounds of knitting, and if the center works loose, just pull the tail again, and this is what that looks like. That's a pretty nice tight beginning, but if you don't like the extra bulk and you want something a little lighter, there is a similar cast-on that I'll show you next. Okay, this cast-on, um, I've seen referred to as a lighter circular beginning, um, but whatever you call it, it's basically an invisible cast on done in a circle. Now where Emily Ockers began with the tail to the left, this one begins with the tail to the right, and cross your working yarn over, 
leave enough tail to darn in later. We're going to be doing, using the working yarn to do an invisible cast on over the loop of yarn here. Now if you're going for an odd number of stitches, this is easier. An even number is a little trickier, but I'll start demonstrating with odd. I'm going to hold the loop yarn and the end up against the needle and hold the loop open and uh, hold the, uh, the working strand with my left hand. I'm going to reach down and get a loop. Now I'm going to pull the working yarn kind of up. There's one stitch on the needle. Now I'm going to do a yarn over, down, pull one up from in the loop, one from over the loop, one from under the loop, one from over the loop. And you're going to end with one from under the loop. That way the working yarn is crossing over the loop and it will hold nice and snug when you pull it tight. Now here's the end. I'm going to pull the loose end to make this a little snugger so that we're working on. There are my stitches. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches pretty quickly. This is a pretty quick way to begin. Now I can start working the stitches. Here's the working end. I'm going to, let's see, okay, I'll just pull this around and start working. I'll work the first round even. One. First stitch is a little loose. Two. Three. Four. Five. My loop is working open, but that's okay because you can repeatedly tighten that loop. Six. Seven. So I've worked all the stitches. I'm going to grab the loose end and snug that up. Okay, there's that beginning. Let me work a few rounds of knitting to show you what that looks like after you've gone a ways. Okay, I've worked a few rounds on this. And again, the loop tends to loosen up as you're working, but you can always pull the free end and close it up and when you're all done you tuck those ends in securely. So that is what the lighter cast on looks like. And here is Emily Auker's circular cast on. They both give you a pretty tight little ring right at the top. So it's your choice. Now if you need to do an even number of stitches, I mentioned at the beginning that I was beginning with odd. If you need to do an even one, you start your cast on with a yarn over before you do the rest of the stitches. And that's, that's the only difference. The yarn over at the beginning will be loose and kind of sloppy until you knit a few rounds. Thank you for watching this demonstration of circular cast-ons.